You say hi. Meet the Travia family in Livermore. Jennifer and Nick plus three kids. Keeping five bellies full quickly empties the Travia wallet, especially these days. Prices have definitely gone up. She's right. Grocery prices have spiked with no sign food costs are going back down. Like I always shop the sales. Recently, the Travias tried something new to find food bargains, salvage food shopping. And Jennifer says she's saving a lot. I mean, I think at least half of what it would cost in the grocery store. Jennifer uses Marty. So Marty is an online discount store. We work with vendors and food producers and we take everything that is overstock closeout surplus, and we sell it in this online store at 30 to 70% off to consumers. Louise Freet Joffson co-founded Marty in San Francisco. With her co-founder Carrie in LA, they set out to help fellow West Coasters save. Two years later, they've opened a new centrally located Texas warehouse and are taking Marty nationwide. In general, you know, there's enough food to go around. Is it going around that's the issue? By trucks, trains, and planes, food crisscrosses our country. And a surprising amount of grub detours to a dead end, like a landfill. The numbers here are 30 to 40 percent of the food we grow and produce does not actually go to people, which is sad for humans, it's sad for the environment. Paul Schieffer is president of Amy's Kitchen in Santa Rosa. And this is a car Paul invited me behind the scenes. Yes, hairnets and smocks were required. We take food safety very seriously. We watched while Amy's team of 600. We were making some Thai red curry today. Cooked up thousands of meals. We start with organic ingredients. What's made here ships to supermarkets coast to coast. Amy's has shelf space in 43,000 grocery stores. And we also happen, like most food companies, to have a certain amount of food that we have a hard time selling through our traditional retail networks. After these meals are made, logistics can go sideways. Issues like distribution delays, canceled orders, or printing kinks. Now the product is great food, but in the wrong label for what the market needs. And that's another example of the type of food we really want to make sure it gets to people and not gets, uh, isn't wasted. Enter Marty. It buys that food, advertises it online, then ships to your doorstep the non-perishables that food producers can't ship to stores. Think of its Texas warehouse as a 40,000 square foot grocery clearance rack. It's literally tons of salvaged food that Louise insists is safe to eat. You will not find products on Marty that have passed their best before date. To find salvaged food for cheap, there is a price to pay, your time. Shipping takes a few days, though it's free when you spend $50 or more. Another caveat, inventory shifts daily. Say your grocery list includes peanut butter or almond butter. We can't guarantee you that we have the same nut butter this week as next, but we can guarantee you that we have a nut butter and it's going to be 50% off. We fact checked Marty's prices against identical items in local grocery stores. They did check out. However, some stuff was tougher to compare. We found some specialty and regional brands for sale on Marty from other parts of the country. That stuff's not sold locally. Some long-standing brick and mortar stores like Grocery Outlet specialize in food overstock too. Louise concedes those regional stores win on instant access. Still, she contends Marty is the only national grocery discounter completely online. We are just changing how liquidation is done. Look, cookies. Back in Livermore. Gluten-free. The Travias are on the receiving end of this liquidation innovation. Jennifer sold on what she sees as a win-win, cutting her food spending and cutting food waste. And I think it's great that we're saving things from going in the trash that's still good. In Livermore, Chris Camora, NBC Bay Area News.